Good morning and welcome to Hansa Park here in northern Germany. I am so excited to be here at this park for the first time. I'm here with the one, the only, Harry Turnstiles, Hello. who's here as well, who's also not been to the park. So it's Hello. exciting for both of us, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. Like yeah, we've got really seven exciting. coasters to get on, including a few different Gerslauer rides. However, we've got an infinity coaster uh, called Karnan, the Oath of Karnan, it translates to in English. I might try the German pronunciation later. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to riding that. The park itself looks quite small, but it's very, very cute. It's a family owned park. It opened back in 1973. Do you want a fun fact, Harry? Go on, do It opened as a Legoland park. Really? This used to be a Legoland. It was actually the second Legoland to open after the one in Denmark. Bear in mind, Denmark isn't actually that far from where we are. Uh, but there you go. Fun little fact for you. But um, yeah, so it was uh, Legoland, then it got renamed, I think, to Hansa Land, and then now it's Hansa Park. Seven roller coasters to get on, a few different water rides, lots of different shows to see as well. And uh, yeah, really much looking forward to it. A big thank you to the park for giving us some complimentary tickets to come in today, uh, to come and experience this park. Very kind of them. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go in. We're, like, we don't really know much at all about it. It's got a very cute style entrance with parts uh, over the road, like the main car park is across this main road out the front. And then you go up an escalator and cross over that brings you onto the entrance plaza just here, uh, where you've got all your different facilities, guest services, uh, picking up for tickets, all that sort of stuff. And yeah, the buildings are really, really nice around here. It's very, very cute. And yeah, let's make our way down towards the entrance. Park hours today are 10 a.m. until 6 p.m., uh, which is good. But the park does open from nine just to walk around, uh, but rides from 10, so it's really good. Let's uh, make our way through the turnstiles. Looks like we've got a mascot out here as well. Love it. Love the details on these buildings here. Absolutely wonderful. Looks like you've got a cafe just over there to the side more different facilities. And you've got this beautiful clock here in the middle. That is really nice. There we are, 10 to 10. And what's even better is look at the floor here. I absolutely love this. These plants are moved around every day because it's the 14th of May, 2019. So obviously they don't have to change that one throughout the whole year. This one they change once a month. And then this one they change every day. Like how crazy is that? Like I've never seen anything That's quite great. like that before. I do like that. Like they just have to replant it every day and move things around. I mean, that is nuts, but I love it. Like we've got a bit of a band set up here as well. I did hear them as soon as we arrived, but we just had to go and uh, meet them to pick up our tickets. A uh, very friendly member of staff actually, who welcomed us to the park. But yeah, hopefully we get to see a bit of live band action later on. Straight into the coast, yeah, it's like straight in, isn't it? I mean, like we say, it's not a massive park. It is quite a small park, but there's a lot jammed into this place, including the new for 2019 Highlander, the to tallest gyro drop tower in the world. Look at that, it's not even two weeks old. So I'm looking forward to riding that. We've got this classic Schwarzkopf here, uh, a few different Gerstlauers. Honestly, I'm really excited and it looks very quiet, doesn't it? So, which is good, so. Very nice entrance area here, isn't it? It's very mm. kind of cute little entrance. I just love the fact neither of us have been here before. It makes it so much more exciting. I think it's even better for the viewer as well when you're seeing our first reactions to things. We're not gonna be able to film on the rides here, unfortunately. We did try and ask for permission, and it's something that they strictly don't allow, uh, which is a shame, but I will get plenty of off-ride footage uh, and in the queue lines and things where I can do as well. So, I assume we're gonna head over towards Carden. I mean, that is the, the one ride that we're very, very excited for. And we know a little bit about it. Uh, just to, I'm gonna put this out there. It's rare that I'd say this in a vlog, but there is gonna be spoilers. So there's a few rides that have got a few secrets here. There is gonna be spoilers throughout our reviews. I'm not gonna sort of be one of these people that says, oh, something happens inside, but you've gotta come and try it yourself. We review things on this channel. I will be saying the full experience. So if you do, if you do wanna save that surprise, I'd recommend turning off. Uh, at, at that point, but I will let you know when we're going to talk about the spoilers to some of the rides. But yeah, it's very, very nice. Let's uh, very, very quiet as well. Oh, and there's Highlander going up. Love it. This is part of a Scottish area. It looks very cute, actually. Some nice buildings. I like how the Schwarzkopf interacts with it. Oh, little cleaning vehicle there. <laughs> Get your hose pipe out. Yeah, let's head towards Carl. I'm going to have a look at the map because I don't really have a clue, but what we do know is it's in a massive tower over at the back of the park. And here she is. Oh my God. I've never seen a Gerslauer that big before. That is absolutely nuts. The scale of that thing. It's just under 240 foot tall. Like it's absolutely crazy. 
And obviously we've got the lift hill inside the big tower there with the first drop. Features one inversion. This ride opened in 2015. However, there were some adjustments made to it in 2017, I believe. Uh, and that's what the surprise is all about. But I won't talk about the surprise until we've come off because we don't really know what to expect. We, we, can, we know what's gonna happen, but we don't know how it's gonna feel or how big the surprise is gonna be, do we? I mean, I can guess. <laughs> now we've seen this from... tower, <laughs> yeah. It's given us a bit of an idea, but. This is, um... An interesting support structure, isn't it? Here, it is. Like, look at the size of it. But yeah, it's been open since 2015. I know a lot of people have said, Sean, I can't believe you've never been to this park to come and ride it. And that is because I'm not a massive fan of Gerslauer coasters. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to enjoy this. It looks stunning. It's probably, I'm saying it already, it's the most impressive Gerslauer I've ever seen off ride. I mean, I think the Smiler had that title before. As much as I don't rate the ride that much for looking at it, it's very visually impressive. But this, I think wins on that one like look at it it is absolutely nuts and it's huge it goes all the way down the back over there as well and it's really quiet and the good thing is we've not seen it going round but there is people entering the queue line up there I've seen a few people I assume that's the queue uh, up the top so it's got a very oh yeah that's nice it's got a very nice train design because it's got lap bars as well which is even better this is what the smiler should have had nice lap bars like that Big bouncy ball there. Oh yeah, big bouncy trampoline. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. Like photos and video, what you're watching now on your screen, whether it's on a telly, on a mobile device, wherever it is, does not put that into perspective. That is absolutely crazy. When it opened in 2015, it didn't actually have any of the theming on it. That was all added uh, later on. It was just a massive grey tower when it first opened, which I'm not a fan of the fact they did that. However, I suppose it was a massive project to build. I mean, look at the head shopper there, like, as we're coming down that drop. Oh my God, like, I'm a bit nervous, you know? I'm a bit nervous. Like, it's rare that I get nervous for a ride. It's a real mix of emotion. It's just knowing that something special is gonna happen inside there. Um, yeah, it's got a massive storyline to this ride. I mean, the fact we've not seen it going round as well, like, is just, is just gonna make it even more impressive when we get on, like, oh my God. Very cute, very, very cute. Quite a lot of different shows to see here as well, which is good. I assume this is it, is it? Oh, I don't know, oh no, can't. I hope people are walking down that way, I think. Have we missed it, have we? Oh yeah, oh, this is it. There we are. You can tell we've never been before. This is the beauty of doing a vlog from somewhere that we've never been, no one in any group's been before. Oh, it was right. Oh, it was right. <laughs> we, to be honest, we probably should have guessed that. Yeah. Being experienced theme park enthusiasts like it's we are. So distracted by the, the ride. <laughs> yeah, here we are. She's got a GoPro out there, look. Lovely. Can't say that on the ride, though. It's a shame we can't film on the stuff here. Like I said, I did ask. I tried to get permission. Um, but yeah, it, it's a strict no, which is fair enough. We'll respect the par rules, of course, as we always do. So let's go on and enter this queue line. Whew. So we're back in the queue line. Can't believe we uh, missed that. <laughs> we've walked in. It's quite a small queue line entrance, actually, for such a big ride. We were that distracted, like Harry said. We're going to be reaching speeds of just under 80 miles an hour, over 4,000 feet of track on this thing. Honestly, there's no one coming up here. Like this. It's crazy. We've not seen it go round. It's like a big mystery. Uh, but there's a few different rides around here. We've got a Gerstlauer Skyfly over there. This flat ride looks really unique over here. You sit inside like a bow and it swings side to side. Don't ask, I don't know. We're in Germany, anything goes, but I love it. Here we are, very heavily themed queue line. Bit of audio, bit of storyline going on here on the screens. <laughs> wow. Yeah, apparently the whole story behind it is quite interesting. We've got two different stairs here. I assume we go down any. Oh, it's got quite a spooky feel this. I mean, I will explain a bit of the story uh, afterwards. There's a lot of information about it online. So I'll find that and, and read it out because I want to have another refresh of that myself. Wow. This has got atmosphere. There was a big throne there, I saw. Okay, first impressions of this ride, very, very good. <laughs> very, very good. You 
join us here as we do it for the first time. It's crazy. We, you know, we've not seen any of this before. Not even seen pictures, video of any of this round here. Oh, and here we are. Schumer at the back, right? This is the moment. I probably won't be able to film from here on in. Wish us luck. This is it. It's time to find out the oath. The oath of Khan. <laughs> Absolutely insane. That much so, we didn't just have one ride on Carlin. We went around for a second go, but that wasn't enough. We went around for a third ride, and mainly to get a front row on that thing. I mean, it does run three trains, uh, but there's only two on the circuit today. Uh, and I can see why. It takes a long time for it to, uh, to send out, but we'll more about that in a second. The coaster itself, uh, wow, honestly, that is by far the best Gerstle Hour coaster I've ever been on. I mean, I'm not a big fan of their rides, and don't get me wrong, it's not the smoothest of experiences. It's a little bit jolty in places. However, what an amazing experience. Uh, so with that, you've got four rows of four people. It features lap bars, and this is the point where there's gonna be spoilers. So if you don't wanna know anything about it, turn off here. Uh, obviously, you can see all the ride outside up there how crazy it is however it's what's inside what is even more nuts so as soon as uh, you showed a, sorry, a little bit of footage there of the queue line i don't shouldn't get my words out that was nuts it's intense especially three times and um, you come through that section of the queue into like another pre-show area where it explains more about the story and and then it's like oh you need to leave all loose articles here uh, in this bookcase and the bookcase opens up and it's actually a baggage hold so that's quite cool similar to the likes of Icon for example where it drops down but it's a bookcase and you pick it up from the other side when you come off the train so that's quite cool and then you step onto the train stations all heavily themed the queue line amazing one of the best out there uh, and then you get on the train you go around the little drop uh, and then you make your way uh, towards this lift hill which is insane which I'm pretty sure it's 100% vertical, however, it's very hard to tell because it's very disorientated. Um, you know, at first I thought it was maybe on a bit of an angle just like that, but it's certainly very steep, if not vertical. I'm not 100% sure because, like I say, I didn't want to do too much research myself before going on it. I wanted to save the, a bit of the surprise at least. And you may wear up this lift hill, but it's not just a matter of up you go and then down the drop because... <laughs> absolutely insane i mean me and harry like we're like what the hell <laughs> we knew it was gonna drop down and it certainly does it yeah, drops it down the lift hill like amazing you're, you're looking up at like a, a projection at the top and then as you're watching that it, it drops down the lift hill like <laughs> i mean there's no other way to describe no, it like that, it, it that is it isn't it it drops it down the lift hill like much, it, it honestly is. we're not joking it physically i think we were heading this way okay. it physically drops down the lift hill backwards uh, about 60 meters which is absolutely crazy and yeah like that was nuts after that of course you then make your way back up it takes a little bit of a time for it to get going a bit like if you've been on the smiler at alton towers in the uk um 
it takes a while before it goes up the vehicle lift hill just like that really um, but there's all audio I don't know what it's saying I think it's explaining about the story probably how you're gonna die or something I don't know it normally is isn't it with all that theme going on and uh, yeah and then it takes you up the lift hill and then you go over the top straight down into that drop which twists round to the left which is brilliant and then into the rest of the layout which is packed with airtime some beautiful elements it's ridiculously tall it is a hyper coaster so uh, wow honestly absolutely world-class coaster it's the indoor elements that make it um, don't get me wrong I think the outside is fantastic I haven't come off it thinking oh it's a top 10 coaster I didn't think it was going to be for me you know uh, I do prefer a ride that is a lot smoother uh, in general however I'm certainly not disappointed with it I think it's an awesome roller coaster it's got one inversion that's a heartline roll and that's at the end of the ride uh, to be honest we've gone through it all and I, I didn't even I forgot that we hadn't even had the inversion yet because you're so right down at the brakes at the end and then it takes you into that heartline roll which is ridiculously slow um, I, I think we're heading this way we don't really have a clue where we're walking to be honest um, but yeah it was as great airtime a couple of big airtime hills honestly what an amazing ride like I loved it I think Harry quite enjoyed it yeah um, it, it was a bit <laughs> bashing you about on the actual mm. outside section but I think that's probably just just me on it but yeah um, it's oh, yeah it was really enjoyable describe. really weird um, yeah it's just just really really bizarre isn't it inside weird is a good word to describe that yeah. ride it is fun. very strange yeah it's good fun very rideable a few times i wouldn't want to go around on it again now because i've got a bit of gear steak i know what you're going to say oh come on sean but unfortunately i have there's a little bit of pain i get right in the middle of my head and i just only get it on girl star coasters i'm not even joking like, i don't know why it happens uh but don't get me wrong it was very enjoyable uh, it's not a top 10 coaster it's probably not even in my top 20 to be honest uh, but it's a great ride it's heavily themed it's an immersive experience uh, if it didn't have the theming in the indoor section uh, you know i probably wouldn't think it was as good however because it's got all that it really really makes it but more to come from that we'll talk about it later on i'm like aching after that it was really intense and i love a good intense ride and this park i say they've got a lot of ghost hours we've got another one which is just behind us and look at this element here da, 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 da. yeah so we've got another ghost star and to be honest uh, the name of this i'm gonna have to try and pronounce it because i don't know what the english is flug von no no good i don't know what, what do you think harry let's go with that let's go with that <laughs> yeah he doesn't want to attempt no. he doesn't want to attempt yeah flight of something i think flug maybe I don't know, but let's go. It's a Gerslai Eurofighter, this one. That was an Infinity Coaster. This is a Eurofighter, so let's go. This land is verfroed. Split off point there. So this opened in 2009. Of course, checking the roller coaster database. Good place to go to get all your facts and information on different roller coasters from all across the world. I like how you can pick your row on here. That's the thing with Carnan. Forgot to mention that you can't pick your row really. Like it, it's got a really good pre-show. We didn't really talk about that, but I'll mention it again at some point either later on today or tomorrow uh, yeah this opened 2009 so it's the same year as saw the ride it was also a ghost eye eurofighter but this i know features an lsm launch so hopefully it'll feel a bit like the one on anubis at proxaland Pan in belgium because that's a really good fun one love it Right then, so we've just come off the Gerslai Eurofighter. And uh, again, another very, very heavily themed ride. Just looks into a bit of research. Again, it's got a very heavily themed queue line, station, storyline, and the ride's in two parts. Um, yeah, you've got a 62 mile an hour LSM launch that follows a bit of an onboard pre-show. Uh, well, you've got a couple of bits. On the right hand side, you've got uh, some animatronics, a bit of a Pepper's Ghost style effect. On the left, it's then got uh, like an animatronic with a it's like one of their projection heads but it was shaking quite a bit it was quite poor quality it was quite funny actually uh, but it was very heavily themed in there don't get me wrong it was a bit like if you've been on the alton towers dungeon like the boat ride in that 
Uh, oh, there's a train line there. That's funny. Uh, not in the bar, like, actually outside. Um, but yeah, what they've got, um, like all a big like basin and stuff with all like steam coming out of it, and very heavily themed, like you're in this castle. But apparently, it stands for Curse of N North Good, North Good, which is a, a town in Russia or something. That's German for a town in Russia. I think Harry's up here on this boat. Look at this. Da -da -da -da. I'll tell you what, I'll come up to you, I'll come and have a look. Oh, I'll wait for this girl to come down. Um, but yeah, don't get me wrong, that's probably the best Gerstler Eurofighter I've ever been on. So over there, we've got Karnan, which is the best Gerstler I've ever been on. And then we've got the best Eurofighter I've ever been on. When I say Eurofighter, we're comparing it to the likes of Speed at Oakwood, Rage, Adventure Island, Theme Bar Worldwide on YouTube. Check it out. Check it out. Hello. Are you having a good time? Are you having fun? There we are. Come on here on the back. I don't know what he did behind me then. He might have done a rude gesture. I don't know. Do apologise if he did. Um, but yeah, like it, it's a brilliant Eurofighter. Uh, better than Saw the Ride in the whole second section. So we went like down a, a drop and then straight into a 62 mile an hour LSM launch up into that airtime hill. And then I thought we were coming into the brakes. It was the end of the ride. But then we went up a vertical lift hill where they held us again. But no, we didn't come rolling back on this one. Uh, but there was still some stuff going on up in the roof. It was kind of like the owners of this park, because it's family owned. It's kind of like they saw, they did that and thought, guests have loved it. Let's do it bigger and better with Karnan a few years later. Uh, but it was absolutely crazy, heavily themed. I must say the staff on there were a little bit uh, iffy <laughs> in terms of I was actually getting a few shots inside the station building. We weren't even in the air gates. We were literally uh, just getting a bit of footage there. And the staff member was like, no, you can't, not in the station. So it seems like they're very secretive. It's not so much about the loose articles as such. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's part of it, but they're very secretive here. They like keeping it as a surprise. So yeah, they're probably not gonna like this vlog, the fact that I'm spoiling all them surprises. But you know, at the end of the day, if you don't wanna watch it, then you don't have to. It is, you know, our in-depth thoughts on it. Um, but yeah, like I say, I really enjoyed it. It wasn't too rough, I didn't think. But it wasn't too yeah. rough. No, <laughs> no. No. It makes a change. Yeah. I find quite a lot of coaches. Wasn't a sore, was it? It wasn't sore. No. No, <laughs> um, no it, was, it was quite good fun. That animatronic did make me laugh. Yeah, yeah, I said about that with the, the projection, face. like you could see it shaking. <laughs> that second uh, section, though, fully enclosed, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, that was brilliant. It was like the first section of Saw at Thorpe Park, but longer and a lot faster because we went down that beyond vertical drop and then like all around that section. It was really good, like yeah, it, was it was pitch it was black. Good coaster, like. They like their experiences here, don't they? And we yeah. we both like experience rides, so I'm enjoying it so far. Like, really yeah, it's, it's yeah. Very, very different park. It's kind of what I was expecting in a way. It's different, but it's what I was expecting. But did you see the train come by? Just. I didn't spot the train, I just made like the Yeah, like, let's have a look. So, Harry's brought us onto a boat. Hopefully he's got a bit of history for us about this boat to share. So this boat. <laughs> Well, it's in 1802. Is this correct, is it? Or are you just, just making it up? But on the website, we was looking last night in the Hyder Park Hotel. We were looking at a bit, a bit of the stuff what we can see here today. And they actually class all of these as attractions. And I suppose they are, aren't they? You know, it is an attraction. It's not a ride, but it's an attraction. So, yeah, that is the sea. And I believe somewhere over there, that takes you over to Denmark, like Copenhagen. There's all ferries and stuff running over. So we're right at the top of Germany, northern Germany. And it's the first time I've ever been in this area, of course. And it looks, this is like what, when people say German buildings and stuff, this is what I imagine. Like, this is very That's typical what German. Imagine. What, Karnan, that like, huge tower, tower yeah. Uh, well, no, we've done two coasters. At the end of the day, we've had four coaster rides so far, which is good going, really. We only waited about 10 minutes for a front row on that. But yeah, let's continue going round and getting some more roller coaster credits. I can't wait for the Schwarzkopf looping coaster. Very excited for that one. But no, this place is nuts, honestly. Like That staff member in there was a little bit rude uh, the way he came across. He should have just come over politely and just said, oh, you know, you can't film in the station, which would have been fair enough. But he was a bit rude about it, but... You know, I'm sure we can uh, get over that. It's not the first time we've in encountered some rude staff in theme parks. Go back to the uh, Slag Heron vlog from last September for that one. Um, but uh, where we got discriminated for being British, we thought there. But uh, here we go. Anyway, we're going to do some more rides here at Hansa Park. Right then, up next, we're going on to another roller coaster. Our third credit to get of the day. And this is Nessie. Hello Nessie, how are you doing? <laughs> I do really like the name of this, but it's an old coaster, it's a Schwarzkopf. You know that I've got a bit of a love for these older Schwarzkopf coasters. And yeah, this actually opened in 1980. Wow, it's an old coaster, isn't it? What's that, 39 years? 
Yeah, 39 years old. And it doesn't look 39 years old, does it? Here's the lift hill for it. Nessie, ah, oh, obviously it fits in with this whole Scottish area. I don't really know how we get to it, maybe around this way. Is it? There's some cute paths and buildings. There's a lot to see here. It's not the biggest part, but there's a lot. Uh, what is all quite close together. Here it is, Nessie. Oh, Schwarzkopf Looper, there's the loop. It's fitting quite nice, hasn't it? I do like the placement of Highlander, that gyro drop tower, the fact that uh, it's in the middle there of all them helixes. Oh, I can hear her going up, old Nessie. Yes. Very nice theming round here. Oh, there she is. Oh, Nessie. What a beauty. Purple trains. It looks to me like this queue line's been done recently. I don't think this is from 1980. I imagine this was quite a bland sort of waiting area, maybe a big cattle bank queue. And then as the park's developed over the years, they've made it look nicer. I mean, I reckon they've done all this part of this Scottish area, I'd assume. Here she comes. Oh, yes. I do like the look of this. I bet it'll be really smooth, this. 39 years old, but I bet it's gonna be smooth. Oh, yes. Sounds perfectly smooth. <laughs> look at that. To be honest, this is the ride what's wanted me to come to this park for a long time. Oh, bit of an airtime hill. Let's see how she rides. Looks quite smooth. They don't sound that smooth, but I think this is going to be quite good. Looking forward to this. All nice theming. Are we allowed to take any footage in this queue line? I don't know. You have to make your choice which way you go. It's nasty. footage there from Nessie, the Schwarzkopf Looper. I tell you what, that was running good. It might sound a bit rough off-ride, a bit rattly with the train, uh, but it rode really nice, that. Very, very good ride. Uh, I love this interactive section as well with Highlander. I'm not too sure how this looked around here before. I imagine it was quite bland before they'd put this area in, uh, but it's complemented that coaster beautifully, and the fact that you've got this in the middle uh, really makes it. Uh, yeah, the ride itself was really good, quite forceful. It's only got lap bars as well on those trains, uh, and I got an amazing moment of airtime. I mean, they don't actually check the lap bars on that. Uh, literally, they just walk along the side, the operator does, uh, make sure that they're down, and then off you go. So it's not like you're being pushed into your restraints. Um, but yeah, I came down that first drop into that loop, which was good, turnaround section, and then that drop there got an amazing moment of airtime where I just jumped out of my seat uh, that was crazy. And there was another moment of airtime as well that was just behind me over here. That was a good section of the ride. And then this nice helix. It's not the most intense Schwarz Schwarzkopf that I've been on, uh, but it was very enjoyable, really good ride. And yeah, it's another solid coaster. The three coasters that we've done so far, it's all very solid, it's heavily themed, and it's built to last. It's that Fantasyland, Europa Park feel with how they've built their attractions. They're built to last. I mean, you know, all this rock work and stuff, what they've done, it's not just going to look rubbish in a few years. They'll maintain it. It's built to last. And yeah, look at this. We're about to go on Highlander. And I'll show you a bit of footage of this in action. Da, 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 da. Here it is the tallest and fastest gyro drop tower, not only in Germany, not only in Europe, but the world. Here it is, and it's only about two weeks old. I think it's 394 feet 
and we're gonna get an amazing view from up the top just here. The best thing is as well, I believe the seats actually tilt on this as well. Looking at where the brakes start on this, look like they start quite high up, which isn't a good sign. However, hopefully we're gonna get some force on this. Here it comes. Oh, and there's that wonderful Schwarzkopf, Nessie. It's only running one train on Nessie. Whoa. Oh, such a smooth ride. 39 years of operation. Give him a little round of a bit of a round of applause. Just waiting now, obviously, with it being a gyro, it spins around there at the top. Waiting to drop. You have up there for quite a long time. It means you get to really appreciate that view. I know I'm a score, I've done all the soundtrack round here. So hopefully there's a bit of onboard audio at the top. I'd imagine there will be with it being a new ride. Wow, you really are up there a long time. I know a lot of people that ride coasters, but when it comes to doing drop towers, they're not massive fans. That anticipation of just waiting to fall. Oh, it stopped spinning. Not too sure if the seats have tilted up there or not. It's very hard to tell. I believe that they do, or well, they're supposed to anyway. Maybe because we're standing directly underneath it, you can't tell that much. But yeah, you see how far them brakes start up? Like, very, very high up the tower. There it is. Looks very smooth. I just hope it's forceful, to be honest. I'm really not too sure. It looks very pretty. The area is very nice. All the audio is done by IMAScore, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a, <laughs> you're right there, Harry. It sounds a bit interesting. Just reading the restrictions, are we? This is a fantastic information board right here. Oh, you love it. You got that cheeky smile on your face. It's just incredible. Go on. So, this section here is brilliant. It's just telling you what happens <laughs> if the ride does stop. Oh, okay. Um, so it's just telling you about how. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the free fall will be triggered automatically and the magnetic brakes will stop the gondola. Um, in a safe slowdown, the process may take 20 minutes. I love how it tells you that. I mean, that's like a Cosmop, isn't it? If you ever worked in like a theme park, you'll know they have like a manual, the code of safe working practice. And yeah. Proper attire must be worn. Um, pair longer than shoulder length must be tucked away as well. Can you film in the queue line? Can, yeah. <laughs> sit calmly, please, though. Sit calmly and upright. Wow. Calm. So let's, Not excited, let's calm. enter the queue line. Ah, here we go. Tilt between 10 and 1. Super tilt between 1 and 6. So we're going to get a normal tilt now. And we'll have to do a super yeah, tilt at some point. But I was Nessie. Was it rough like you were expecting? No, it was okay. Hey, you see, yeah, it don't, don't judge a book by its cover <laughs> with an old shorts car. Right, let's go. I don't know how long the queue line is. I don't think, to be honest, it doesn't look like it's got that much of a queue line. I mean, it goes around this section. For the test seats. Always good to see they put the test seats in. Let's go. I hope there's some force to it. Really hope so. Oh, it looks like oh, it's practically walk on, I think. Oh, we've picked a good day to come. It is a weekday today, so... Oh, yeah. So I'll be on the next one. So we'll see you afterwards. Hi, Lander. So we have just come off Highlander. You can see it there behind me. The tallest and fastest gyro drop tower in the world. What did we think to it? Well, I think me and Harry have got pretty much mutual thoughts on it. The views are incredible. I mean, they're great, aren't they? Yeah, you yeah. see the sea over there, the park, the park. Yeah. it looks absolutely stunning. And bear in mind, you're nearly 400 feet up in the air. Like that made it and you were spinning round and looking over the park. Nice soundtrack. Great soundtrack from Ima score. It was great, wasn't it? And yeah. we were saying, oh, the views are really good. We got to the top and then we tilted quite a bit. Like quite a lot, we thought, oh, this is gonna be good when we drop, like it's tilted loads. 
and then we kept spinning tilted and then we moved back into the normal seated position. A bit disappointing. Yeah, and we weren't expecting that. We thought we were actually going to stay tilted for the drop. Um, but yeah, we didn't, and then we dropped down, and unfortunately, it wasn't just a little bit forceless, it was very forceless, wasn't it? Which is a shame, really. Uh, still a great addition. I think if you're scared of heights, you're still going to get the adrenaline. But in terms of the force, not much at all. In my opinion, Intamin is still the king of drop towers. They are the kings, Intamin. They make some great rides, Intamin. But uh, they make some great coasters, to be fair. But yeah, that it was very good. Built by Funtime, by the way, if you're all wondering. It's not Intamin. Uh, but yeah, don't get me wrong, the views are great. I think it's a nice overall package ride. That's the word to describe everything we've done here so far. It's a package, it's the audio, it's the theming, it's the experience. They're not so much the quickest at getting the ride sent out. However, I don't think it matters so much because of the experience. Uh, and obviously it is a relatively quiet day here today. I'd be interested to see it on a busy day and see how, especially how they run the two Gerstlauer coasters that we've done, just to see how quick they get in the uh, getting the trains out because they've been quite slow today but like I say it depends what you prefer do you want amazing operations or do you want a full on experience me personally I like a bit of both and here it is quite slow on the ox however at least you are getting that full package which I do quite like so I don't know comment down below let me know your thoughts but uh, yeah anyway we're making our way now uh, to go and have a ride on another different roller coaster oh yeah here comes the train look at this there's no barriers there, like, I could have been a goner then, Harry. <laughs> that was nearly it for me. You'd have been uh, making your own way back to the UK without me. That's a nice train. We'll definitely go on there at some point. Yeah, we're gonna head over and do this Vacoma Junior coaster now. Loads of, like, ride action here, isn't there? Obviously, you've got the train here, Highlander, Nessie. We're going on this track just here, this Vacoma track. And that's Vacoma Junior coaster. This is the same age as me. 26 years old. Only in 1993. Ancient. Ancient, yeah. Oh, cheers, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Nessie. Into the brakes. Nice. We'll see you when we come off. Station's just over here, I think. Oh, no. I hope that it is going to reopen soon. It's closed at the moment. Good old Roland here. Letting us down, aren't you, Roland? That's the name of the ride, by the way. Not Roland Mac. Inspection stop. The ride will soon reopen. So, that's interesting. I mean, it doesn't look like an inspection's taking place to me. Oh, oh, actually, oh no. I take that back. There is someone in the op cabin over there. It's all right. Hopefully it'll reopen soon. What have we got on this side? The escorted exit may take up to 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Case. We'll have to come back for Rosanna Roland. We'll come and get you later on, Roland. Don't worry about that. Right then, so here we are inside a restaurant near the entrance to the park. And look at the size of Harry's <laughs> sausage. It's a big sausage. Look at that, like that is massive. Very high quality in here. You've got nice proper glasses as well, not like plastic cups and things. You've got this wonderful little plant in the middle. I think it's fake. Yeah, it's definitely fake, but it's nice. Yeah, it's checking so it's been watered. Oh, but look at this, very nice decor. It's a buffet style where you go over and select what you want, but obviously you have to pay for everything that you do have individually. But yeah, look at this, got nice fish and chips. Harry's got a curry verse, which was just under 10 yeah, euros for that. Nine euros, is Bit of an idea on the price if you are coming here. Mine was just over 12, but obviously I had a muffin as well. But yeah, look at this, yeah, salad. Yeah, that came with the, the fish and chips, but I've donated it to Harry, because um, I'm, I'm very kind, yeah. <laughs> you know me, salad doesn't go too down too well with me. But uh, there you go, eat healthy, kids. Um, but yeah, it's just opposite Nessie, so just outside of that themed area. But this is very, very nice in here, very, very pretty. And yeah, I'm gonna tuck in and eat this fish and chips. Very, very nice, but what did make me laugh, it looks like they've refurbished this half, but they haven't quite finished down there yet. Uh, so they've put a sign up saying that in the next close season, they're gonna refurbish that bit. So I quite like that. Anyway, I'll tuck in, then we'll head back outside and get on some more rides here at Hunter Park. Fish and chips for the win. Oh, that was some nice quality food that was there. Nice fish and chips. <laughs> did really quite enjoy that. Uh, you might all be wondering why we're laughing. Well, the food was definitely a good, I don't know, I'm not even going to say 7 out of 10. It was, uh, I'd say 9 out of 10. That was really good value as well. Good value food. 
<laughs> got a little joke going on about me, you guys. <laughs> anyway, right, I've got a bit of something for you, Harry. Okay. You might think we're sitting very close together, and yet we are. <laughs> we are we're sitting in a Dodgem car just here, but got a little surprise for you all. Harry, I've asked, like, have you ever watched Family Fortunes or not? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm basically, I'm setting up, I'm going to keep it a bit of a surprise, so don't tell everybody on YouTube. But okay. I'm going to set up my own game show, a bit like Family Fortune, right? And I've got a buzzer lined up for it and everything. Okay, okay. So I'll sort of go, ask you a question, we'll go from there. Okay. So our survey is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's just gone completely wrong. But, yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, let's start again, but we're keeping it rolling. Right, so I said to you, I've, I've, I've completely like, right, forget it, right. We're sitting in this dodging car. I was going to do a family fortune, so it goes like, eh, eh, but I completely messed that up. We're in this dodging car, look at this down here. There we go, but that's it. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can get out. I'm that squashed that. Oh, can I do it? Ready? Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, oh. Yeah, we don't want to see that. Yeah. Right, we're getting on these dodgems. Oh, I mean, you're still. Oh. Oh, we're all right. Oh, how the hell did you get out of there? Oh. Oh, yeah. Try to do it one more time. And the best skirts that roller coaster going is the. Oh. oh my god! Long as a space this race. Does what? Does it work? Oh my god! We think this is a Dodgems. Oh, I thought so. Everything's an experience in this bar. Wow, working trouble. Take that, Jewel. Is it a Dodgems? I thought it was. Oh. I'm loving like coming to a bar for the first time though. Is it a Dodgems? Absolutely awesome, one of the best dodgems I've ever been on there in terms of all the effects and everything. All inside here, look, and you've got all this LED lighting at the top. Yeah, really good. It's one of those dodgems where it's actually powered from the floor underneath. You see like the strips all the way across, that powers the cars, instead of having a big stick on the back and there being like a grill across the top here. Um, yeah, there's a big mirror ball in there as well. It was really good, like that is one of the best I've done. The ride itself, like yeah, it didn't have loads of kick to it. But I wanna know, like maybe somebody knows what all these like, LEDs are around the side, because that looks like some sort of scoreboard up there. And you see around the side, you've got like the uh, yellow like squares, and then you've got the red LEDs inside. I'm not too sure, but looks to me like there's some sort of interactive element. I mean, when I came, there's one on this side. When I came to hit it just here, it like turned off, so I'm not too sure. But, and then you come out the exit to that, and you're in this nice little bar area just here. Unfortunately, there's not much for sale. Excuse me, I'll just have one beer, please. What, what's that? Oh, no, no, no service. Is that what it says? Oh, it's I'm saying about another one, the restaurant. I'm just going to say, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Well, 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 I'm slagging. Slag, yeah. I don't know. But what's this up here? Like, there's some sort of score into that. I don't quite get it. Best of the day, week, month, year. We must say, these are very old TVs. Look at that. Got a nice little Myro just there. Wow, that is crazy. But yeah, it was good that, wasn't it, Harry? I, I enjoyed that. Yeah, was. I would too. Not much kick when you hit someone, but yeah. What a, what a lovely part. Like, really enjoying it, seeing it for the first time. Glad we've got a couple of days to really appreciate it as well. five footage there from a flat ride that we've just been on started off i thought oh it's going to be a bit rough this because it made a bit of a noise but so uh, when it got going it was actually quite smooth nice attraction i've not been on one of those in years this looks quite well themed and this coaster is open another cred for us to get this is crazy mine 
There we are, not the most inventive of names for this one, but at least I can pronounce it. Crazy Mine, like, it's, I think it's the first ride at this park. Oh, Highlander as well, but the, <laughs> the first coaster at this park that I can fully pronounce. Oh, that's nice. Excuse me there, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna check your lap bars. So yeah, no filming on the ride. Oh, no filming on the ride, please. And no filming in the queues either. Oh. No, you've got your little, Ah, oh, oh, this is cool. This is cool. You're gonna have to repeat the sequence. That's I like that. <laughs> oh, I suppose, and then if it beeps, you're in. You fit on the crazy mind. I like it. So, this is only 1997. Oh, it's a Mara, this one. The escort exit may take up to 20 minutes on this one. Oh, I don't, I don't fancy it then, Harry. I'm gonna miss uh, the cred. It's like gonna pull off a bit. It's pulling me off a bit. I do love these big descriptions. It was the same at Hyder Park there as well, really. Like, big descriptions. Look at that, fast-paced thrill ride with quick turns. We know it's my, been my Mora, so we know what to expect. Pretty much standard layout on this, I think. But yeah, let's have that beat one more time. There we go, thank you very much. Let's enter the crazy mine. Another heavily themed ride. The flat ride that we've done just was probably the, didn't have much theme in. Oh. That was like the least themed ride we've done so far. But that was an old ride. And like I say, like the near misses were really good with the buildings. All nearby, you got very close to the buildings and the trees. Oh, I know, yeah. All little mine tours. Oh, they're off. This is nice, again, very heavily themed. Reminds me a little bit of Rattlesnake, actually, at Chessington. However, it's a lot better done. I wonder what that little sensor was for back there. A smoke machine or something, maybe. Very nice. Oh, oh it's a little mine car, isn't it? Okay. Nice. Very well themed. Crazy mine, here it is. playing up there. She comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Oh, it's been a while since we've had a good sing song in a vlog. I like that. Coming round the mountain. Singer rider is available. When she comes. Yes. Coming round the mountain when she comes. Sing along, viewers. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. I'll be coming round the mountain. Coming round the mountain, coming round the mountain when she comes. Yes. Crazy mine. Very well themed. Again, another nice experience. So we've just come off Crazy Mine that was a little bit crazy for Harry up here. But I think we need to get an ambulance for you. Do you want me to get an ambulance or are you all right? I tried that myself. Yeah, he tried that himself. Look at this. Oh my God, like, what are you on here? I mean, your guess is Crazy Mine. <laughs> this is crazy, I'm gonna come up and join you. We had Crazy Mine. I had a really nice smooth ride in the front, but Harry here had a bit of a rough ride, I think. It was. So you had to cross your legs, didn't you, to get in in the back, like? Yeah, so you couldn't just sit normally, you had to like sit to the side, but then obviously mm. you've got no like back support then. <laughs> Hardly any leg room in the back, really. You should have sat in the front, really, but oh well. We didn't know, we didn't know. Yeah, this is quite cool. I mean, Harry likes us climbing up things, don't you, today and seeing things. He was on a boat earlier on, yeah, and now you're on this. These are classed as a track. Oh, <laughs> these are actually classed as attractions in the park. Like I said earlier on, the boat was on the map, this is on the map. But I do like the history, and you know, this is it's clearly like not theming. This was a real one, I'd imagine. Like, it looks really nice. Like, I do like my history. But yeah, crazy mind, not the smoothest of coasters for Harry. For me, it was all right. But what was what was worse, that or the Gerst flowers? That's that. Oh, there you go. That was so, really bad. Oh, that's crazy. Pain. Not pain. It is crazy. Like, it doesn't go round that much at all. You'll see what I mean in terms of, you know when you get like off-ride shots of things and stuff you can be waiting a little while to see the ride go round i do wish that they could have maybe designed this a little bit better so they could get more trains out i mean on a busy day i dread to think how big the queue does get 
I mean, uh, someone said to me they waited 90 minutes like last Saturday, which is a long time, but it's such a gorgeous ride to look at, but you, you don't really see it going around that much, to be honest. It's one of those, isn't it? It's running two trains today, but wow, nuts. But yeah, hopefully we'll see it go around again at some point soon, because it's beautiful to still look at, to be honest, off-ride. Really, really nice. It's going to be one of those moments where as soon as I turn the camera off, it comes round, but there you go. Carnan, what a beast. I'm sure we'll have more rides on it later on. And of course, tomorrow as well. Then our next roller coaster that was also built by Gerslauer. We had a little break there with a bit of Maurer and Schwarzkopf, but we're back with the Gerslauer family coaster. There it is. The trains look like boats. That looks quite nice. Quite like the look of this actually. A massive board. I mean, look at that. Can we just go over two, <laughs> two additional details here? So yeah. The exit will take up to 15 minutes. And then also, could we sit quietly and upright? Yes, I will do. Make any noise. No noise. That, that's no problem at all. But yeah, here we go. A little look at it all on there. Crazy, isn't it? Let's go inside. I think this is going to be quite well themed. It's one of the newer rides, opened in 2011. Looks like all the lift hill is enclosed inside this big themed shed. They've got theming on point here, though. It's very, very nice. I do like the experience that these rides provide. Having a little meander up the queue. What's he doing there in that box? Are you stealing? Oh, he's looking at me. Or is it a lady? I think it's a lady. Signs for Wi Fi. There is Wi Fi available. I've not tried it yet to see if it's very fast or not. But there isn't any in the Karnan queue. But to be honest, I think they've done that on purpose. It's another ride that I don't know how to pronounce this one. So I'm not even going to attempt to. Oh, we're blurred out. We'll see you when we come off. That was completely unexpected. That's like the perfect junior coaster. Brilliant ride. When we came out the top section, you go round over this little lake here, beautiful. And we found out a bit of the story behind it now. It's based on Norse mythology, with all the theme in, with all the water and things. So yeah, really liked that. Very good ride. You get two laps. Again, you go into the station, the doors are closed. It's very secretive. Doors open. Uh, and then you head round up a lift hill, you've got a bit of a, an animatronic at the side, another screen above you on the lift hill, and then you come round into the layout here where you get a couple of laps, but that was really, really good. It's honestly the perfect family coaster. It could maybe do with a few more rows on the train because, uh, you know, it's not got the highest throughput, and obviously it only runs one train because it goes twice around the circuit. Uh, but that was really good, heavily themed, nice soundtrack. Yeah, I really enjoyed that Gerslau family coaster, really good. Really nice area of the park, this. It's like Gerslau Valley, isn't it? All these Gerslau rides. Carlin at the back there. There's the Skyfly, very heavily themed. That looks a lot better than Skyforce, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And the family coaster just here. But yeah, like lock bars on that as well. They don't have to check them, they've just got the little traffic light on there. Yeah, really good. Got one of these little boat rides here where you pull yourself across on a rope. However, it does seem to be closed. People are coming down to this closed attraction. But well, Harry's having a laugh over here. You enjoyed that family coaster? Yeah, that was good fun actually. Really, really smooth. Smooth. Like smooth ride. A bit like Troublesome Trucks actually. It's that same sort of ride in Drayton Manor, Thomas Line. Well, really, really, well. mm, really good. Norse mythology, you like that. What we got here then? You got another funny one? Yeah, I mean, uh, again, I'm not going to pronounce the name of this ride. Oh, I'm definitely not. Look at that. St storm farts. <laughs> well, it does say passengers may have to exit out of 
a banking position, having to. A what? Use Sorry. A banking. A banking position. position. Yeah. To use a steep ramp at a maximum of eight meters. Right. I love how they tell you all these restrictions just in case it does break down. I mean, it's good. It puts you at ease, I suppose. Like, especially in this day and age where safety is paramount and rides do stop and you get, you know, websites like the Daily Mirror and stuff, newspapers, all the marketing and, and stuff. It's not good in it, like false advertising and things. There but is a, there is a warning on the bottom. It just says um, risk of wet getting wet. So. Well, it's a log flume, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, to be fair. You look like you get quite wet on that, but there is a big log flume, I believe. We haven't been over the other end of the park yet, so yeah, we've got two more coasters to get on out of the seven. We've done five, two to go, uh, including Ro Roland. We've got to get on that, and there's one more junior coaster that we've got to find as well. But there's me over there. We <laughs> love it, and some random man. But yeah, that was a really good junior coaster. That enjoyed it. Shame we can't cross over here on this bridge, but you never know. It might be open tomorrow. We had a walk on queue when we're going on this little log flume and Harry's there on his own. One adult per boat, I think, on this one. Up he goes. Have a good ride, Harry. Enjoy. <laughs> so we just come off this little Viking themed log flume just here. Well, we had to have our own boat. We did. So it was a bit jolty it and it was a bit of a soaker. It was quite a good one, actually, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was all right, to be fair. Junior log flume. I think there's another, like I say, but. Harry's just noticed that the operator on here is actually operating this log flume and also this ride over here as well, this spinning do dolphins, I think the dolphins. Yeah, like, literally they are. Look, he's got an up panel on the left for the log flume, one on the right for this. And he was, like, literally just came over here checking, like, letting people in. Now he's dispatching that. I assume he'll come back in a minute and check the, like, restraints on that. I mean, we've noticed staffing has been quite pushed here, hasn't it? it really is. Uh, like a lot of the rides are running one member of staff, or in this case, half a member of staff for each ride. But yeah, it seems like they are very pushed for staff here. I feel a bit sorry for some of them, to be honest. So that might explain the actions of that guy earlier on. But I must say, the staff have been, you know, all right since. I mean, I wouldn't say they're like overly friendly, but they're not, I haven't been rude. They've just been, you know, all right, to be fair. Um, but yeah, maybe they're under quite a bit of pressure, I think, actually. It seems that way anyway. Oh, there we are. The, the unique flat ride that we've not seen operating all day is testing. There's nobody on it, but look at that. It's a massive swinging bell. I've never seen anything quite like that. And I was hoping to get on it because I've seen a lot about it and I really wanted to try it. Yeah, it looks like it's tested. I mean, how weird's that? It looks ridiculously low throughput, but hopefully we'll get on that at some point. Good sign that it's testing. First movement we've seen of that all day. Here we are on the sandy beach of Carnan, And look at this epic trampoline. Look at the size of that beast. And the best thing with this is you can actually go on in your shoes. A lot of these you do have to take your shoes off, but Harry's just read the board as he's been doing throughout the day, keeping us all safe and up to date. Then yeah, he's read the board and shoes are permitted. It's not heels. So I'm gonna go and have a little bounce on here. No high heels, yeah, that's understandable as it make a big, loud pop. Try and get off it first. It's good though, that. It's better than the one at Toverland. Thumbs up from Sean. We just come off another Gerslauer ride here at the park. It's Karna Poulton, I think it's called on the sign. It's like Karnan, 
and Paulton's Park together. So Carna Paulton. Here's another Gear Star ride. Uh, very similar, in fact, it's the exact same model as uh, what can be found on Skyforce at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And uh, yeah, it's Gear Star Skyfly is the official terminology for these. And uh, yeah, we thought it's quite windy actually. I don't know if it's picking up much on the camera. We thought we might get quite a bit of a spin going, but. We didn't, in fact, nobody did. I, I got one pretty much full one, but it then spun back the other way. So yeah, a bit of a shame really. Let's see if anybody does on this run. Uh, but I reckon I've got a bit of a theory as to why we're not getting any spinning. I think that big tower is blocking the wind. I'm uh, joking, I'm joking. But uh, yeah, God, it is crazy that, it's nuts, isn't it? I've wanted to see that in person since it opened. And I'm so glad that I finally come to see it and finally ride it and have my opinion on it. It's one of those things, isn't it? Like you're watching this to see our thoughts on the rides, but there's still something very special about coming here yourself and making your own judgment. Like, what do you think about the rides? And we've all got different things, what we enjoy about different experiences, but yeah, God, absolutely crazy. Oh, Harry there, his hair is blowing in the winds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is a nice little fountain we've got going on here. A few spouts out of action. There is a few spouts out of action, which is a shame, but it's quite nice, that is. It's quite a compact area, this, but some family rides, some thrill rides, all mixed together. Right then, it's time for our next attraction here at Hansa Park. And look at this. It's called the Bell. And it is literally a giant bell. So we saw it tested from the other side and you had to see it in a bit more of its glory from here. Look at that. This is very, very weird. It's a six-seater ride. And I just don't quite understand it at all, to be honest. I mean, it says it features water and fire effects. Looks like there's supposed to be fire coming out of this. There's a couple of flame torches over there as well. And yeah, it looks like maybe this should have more water in it or audio. I don't really know, but I'm glad we're getting on something a bit unique, but it just looks very, very strange, this does. Looks like it's made of Meccano or something like with all this around the side. Look at that. I can't say I've ever seen anything quite like it. So these six people are now spinning round inside this giant bell. I don't think we're going to get any force on this whatsoever. But look at that, very strange. According to the website, it weighs 80 tonnes, the giant bell. But yeah, we're in this queue here. This is a good, what, three or four ride cycles, but surely that isn't the full thing. <laughs> it's not. That's a, bit, <laughs> that's a bit pathetic, if so. What the hell? Like, I need to do a bit of research. I'll do a bit and I'll come back to you on this one. But it looks like the days are numbered. I mean, I'd much rather have like an intermin gyro swing or something. But I'm glad we're getting on something a bit more unique, I guess. Thoughts? I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's having a good spin now. But... What the hell is this ride? We've got to do it for the cred, but... I mean, what the hell? Six people. Six people. So we'll let you know our thoughts on this one. Might be a bit too intense for us, this one. Get the mop buckets out. Might need to clean up our sick after this. Get ready for the screams. I think they're coming. Ready? Oh! No, oh, nothing on that one. But I uh, found out a bit of information, thanks to Google. So, uh, yeah, the ride opened in 2008. And it was built by Funtime, the same people that have done Highlander, the new drop tower for this year. But yeah, like I've come to a conclusion, I don't like the look of this. It's very ugly, it's just a bit pointless as well. I mean, I just don't understand it at all. Like, this does look like it's filling up, but there's no fire effects. Like, this is the one ride, it looks really out of place. In a park where everything's been quite pristine and working and very theatrical, then they've just got this giant bell. And I just don't understand it. I don't think we're going to get any force whatsoever on this, but yeah, let's go on and we'll see when we come off the bell. I'd say I'd show you some more off-ride footage, but you, you've seen it. That is what it does. It just sways back and forwards. Even if there was like a gong sound effect or something as it swung, it'd be quite nice. Get Ima score in to do a nice bell sound effect. I don't know. It's a weird one, this. Right, I think Harry has got the perfect word to describe that ride. An embarrassment. That's what that is. That should not be running, should it? No. You, you just you just stick a massive like vinyl screen in front of it. Yeah, it's it? not very often we say that a ride should be SBNO, but that is it's an embarrassment. But the staff member didn't look happy on it. No. None of the, none of the people going on it. I did a funny little <laughs> scream, didn't I like just to troll people a bit. But what I did find quite amusing as well, we just found a video on YouTube and we watched it. It's normally got a two and a half minute cycle uh, with all the fire, water effects, and it actually used to swing quite high, didn't it? Like a good you know, not ridiculously high, but probably it's not even going, 
you know, a third of what it should do. Beyond like 90 degrees up. Yeah. It's barely kind of just reaching that sort of angle. What a shame, because that, it could be really good. If it was all working, I'd be coming off saying, fair enough, it's a bit of a unique ride, a bit of a unique theme. Instead, it's probably got the title of the worst flat ride or worst thrill flat ride I've ever been on, to be honest. But anyway, that's it. We've made our way back to the UK, welcome to Thorpe Park. So we've been on stealth. We're going on Storm Surge next. Here it is. I like the look of this actually, it's got a pirate theme. Little look at the boats coming down there. Got a concrete trough down here at the bottom, nice themed castle over there. Enclosed lift hill, I reckon it's gonna roll back. You're gonna get to there, and then it's gonna come rolling down to here, and then there's gonna be projections above you at the top, but I don't know. Yeah, they like doing that here, three rides with that. Yeah, but here it is, pirate flag at the top. It's half themed and half not really, so let's go on. there on Storm Surge here at Thorpe Park. Sorry, Hansa Park. Uh, yeah, quite nicely themed that. The station looked really good. Questionable animatronics at this park, isn't there? I mean, I don't know if you noticed that footage I put on just of when his arm moved, like proper went dum. Um, but yeah, it was quite a nice little ride that. We didn't come rolling back down the lift till on that, sadly. I thought we were going to. Um, but yeah, it was certainly quite well themed. Uh, you got some really nice views as well with us being close to the sea. Got a really nice view uh, from up at the top there when we came out and went down the uh, drop. Um, but yeah, not really many water effects. We didn't get that wet on there at all. Um, but it was quite nicely themed. Nice bit of audio around. And yeah, it's just another ride here at the park to see, isn't it? Let's have a look around here because we did walk through this Wild West area earlier and it looks absolutely beautiful. Here's the 4D cinema in here as well. It's quite interesting. We've still got two coasters to ride as well, but we're looking for another theater ready for the show. Oh, that's it there, is it? So we're going to be watching two shows today and then tomorrow we're going to be watching the parade uh, and maybe see some of the other stuff as well, I don't know, but we're going to watch a big variety show. I probably won't be able to film it. You can't really film much here at all, including queue lines, by the way. Um, but yeah, yeah, this looks like the main theatre. In fact, uh, we're going to be watching a variety show with lots of different acrobats and things. And then there's like a laser show, a 10 minute laser show that's inside here as well. I mean, we love lasers, special effects all that sort of stuff. But yeah, Benon Bonanza City is like the Wild West area. Very nice around there. I like how it's not got a proper floor as well. Feels very authentic, that. I like it. Yeah, is that, that's the uh, variety show. Gonna be watching, it features four happy boys. There they all are, dressed in yellow, four happy boys. We've got these girls just here as well, doing some acrobats. We've got the Dixie Band on there. Yeah, these are all in the show, I think, anyway. We've got Stefan up there as well, St Stepan, Stefan, I don't know, I don't know how you say it. But yeah, they're all the different shows anyway that you've got. Lots of different uh, shows on offer and there's all the times, but we'll, I'm sure we'll be able to film the parade when we watch that tomorrow because it'll be outside. But anyway, I think we're going to get these other couple of coats what we need to do before going in there and watching the show. This is quite interesting in this Wild West area. We've got some big scales that you can actually stand on and see who's heavier in the group, but we just found out we weigh about the same, so there we are, <laughs> quite interesting. Here we are in this Wild West area. This is very, very wild themed in here. I love it. A nice wooden coaster would fit around this area. Like, it would work very nicely. Bit of a lack of like audio around here. We've been saying throughout the day, there's not really much of a, an atmosphere in this park, and I know it is quite a quiet day, and sometimes that can be it, but I'm not too sure, it's a pretty park, but it does lack a bit of a, a bit of an ambiance. 
you know sometimes you just go somewhere and it just feels a bit like a bit lacking in something a bit weird it feels a bit like that in this park but I do you know like it around here like this is a really nice area this is probably my favorite themed area of the park actually saloon there loads of details I've always liked this style theme in the old frontier it's, one, it's my favorite area in the Disney parks you know there's a high ropes course here as well which is interesting there's a little canoes ride over there seems Indy River yeah this is very authentic you know what I make this just a few like characters walking around like mm. in costume like a bit of a yeah like a wild west shootout did you ever go American Adventure in, or not I can't remember. no like that that had a similar area to this um, but yeah they had like a cowboy show maybe like a horse show or something to work quite nice but yeah, it's certainly very well themed. The floor makes it as well. The fact that it's not, you know, tarmac or anything, that really gives it an authentic feel. Reminds me of when me and Alex went to Black Gang China actually last year. Yeah, it's lovely. To be honest, the Carnan Tower kind of ruins that perspective of the street just here. I imagine before that was built, this probably looked even nicer just down here without that being there. I know it's very nicely themed and, and put together, but I would have still like to have seen that before that was Put in. I'm a big fan of parks that think about sight lines and things, but they've not particularly thought about it from this side here. But yeah, we haven't really been over this end of the park much at all. Um, there is another water ride down here. Like, put it into perspective what we sort of covered. We spent a lot of time sort of, you know, all around this section just here, but we haven't been anywhere over at this back part yet. Like, there's a big train that's another attraction to walk on. Obviously we've got the observation tower. The first we've sort of been to is like we cut across here. So there's a few bits to see. I don't know what's in number five. Maybe another show venue, a uh, log flume of some form. I don't know, is what's that? I'm not too sure. I was like, is that another? That isn't that other little one that we did, is it? No, that's, I don't know. No, that's down here. That's, I don't know. Oh, there's, that's that one. Yeah, it looks like there's, there's number 10 and then there's number 11. So I don't know, answers on a postcard. All will be revealed, but yeah, there's another junior coaster to get just over here, and then we've got Roland Mac to get on as well. I tell you what, we're not having much luck when it comes to getting these junior coasters. We've got two more to do, and we've just walked over to the other one, and it's closed. But well, it is testing, so hopefully it'll be open soon. So have a guess, how much would you pay for a Fanta that size just there? Comment down below, how much would you pay? And I'll reveal it later in the vlog, so stay tuned to find out. <laughs> well, Harry had an ice cream just there. To put it into perspective, that was two euros, wasn't it? Two euros, Toblerone. Two euros for a Toblerone, or Very Toblerone, nice. as the guy thought. He thought that he asked for an Oreo, didn't he? But it's to two them. Oreo or a Toblerone. But here we go, we're going on. Oh my God, I can't. These rides, I'm really struggling, guys. I like, just honestly, like, <laughs> but blue. Blumenmeer Bruce Fast. There we are. But the, the board's not very big for this one. What have we got then on here, Harry? What have we got? It's a slow moving boat ride featuring sound elements. You know what? After a wonderful drink, a, t a small one, but a bit expensive, but I fancy that, Sounds you know? Like a good ride, Let's go on, and you never know, we might come off this and then be able to get on the, uh, on the junior coaster next to it. Up, 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 up. Nice bit of music on here. Nice and classical. This is like the old time fairground. I quite like it around here. A few different uh, flat rides to do as well. But yeah, we've just had another uh, rude staff encounter. He, he just shook his head at, at me and Harry. Like, we didn't even do anything. I think he wanted us to move into the middle of the boat to balance it out, which is fair enough, but he shook his head, pointed. He didn't say anything to start with, did he? No. He just stood there shaking and, his head. And then said something to us quite abruptly, like he was telling us off. Like, I don't come to a theme park to feel like I'm back at school, you know what I mean? Like, well, I think so far, we're sort of nearly at the midpoint, aren't we, to our trip here? You know, of course, coming towards the latter part of our first day. And this park is a very mixed bag for me. There's some bits that I really like about it. And it is very pretty, it's very picturesque. Like, there's a lot of flowers around, some great coasters. I mean, it's very heavily themed. Um, but in terms of the operations, I feel like a lot of the staff are maybe doing a, a bit too much more than they should be. Do you, you agree on that? Like, yeah, and I think the, 
the rides over there where he was operating too much though. Yeah, and I feel like the staff, you know, a lot of them just look really grumpy, you know, and it's just not got a great atmosphere. But, you know, we, we are still coming back tomorrow for a second day. It probably is a one day park if you want to get everything in without the shows and not many re rides. But whilst we're here, wanted some re rides because I don't see it being a park that I'm going to come back to for a good few years, to be honest. Uh, like where I was with Hyder Park. I, you know, I really, really enjoyed it. I could have spent another couple of days there, you know. Whereas here, just not quite got the atmosphere. But don't get me wrong, it's got some lovely parts and the visuals are great. Like, look at this. Looking back there on that Eurofighter. Stunning, like, how it's all presented. Very, very nice. Just lacking when it comes to the customer service and just a bit of atmosphere in some places. Doesn't mean it's a bad park. And we've all got different tastes, haven't we? You know, some people probably prefer this to hide a park i know over on social media there's a lot of people who've said oh you know i, I think this is a much better park and everyone's got their own opinions which is great you know but i know a lot of people out there that aren't a fan of europa park in germany whereas i think it's pretty much perfect you know so everyone's got different opinions and thoughts which is certainly good you know it's nice to have variety but yeah there's a pirate ship over there most likely a hus pirate ship from looking at it maybe yeah it does look like a hus there's a small little chair swing there's quite a few bits down here it's very very nice area actually but yeah we're home to get on this junior coaster what actually has been made to look like a wooden coaster which is quite funny i'll show you what i mean when we go around the other side uh, you can see a bit of it here actually it's got like wooden supports all around it to try and cover up the fact it's steel i'm not too sure to be honest but you'll see what i mean when we go around this corner oh is he coming down to open the queue line maybe i don't know yeah as the test train has gone round but yeah, yeah, we're still having a good day. It's always nice to see a new park. It's not a bad park by all means. I've been to a lot worse parks than this, but it's certainly not one of my favorites either. It's not somewhere that I'll be coming back to in a hurry. What the hell is that? Welcome to Wickhamar. And here we are. Very GCI style. <laughs> Look at this. Crazy, isn't it? Do you find it quite funny? Like, it just looks like a GCI. They've honestly tried to make it like a wooden coaster. I don't really understand why. Like, if they wanted a wooden coaster, they should have just built a little junior woody, like, a bit like what Plopsaland do with Heidi the Ride. You know, something like that. It's just gone round again. It says it's in inspection, will reopen soon. But I do quite like the theme of this. Sensation. I do like all this branding, what they've got. Yeah, there you go, look. It's supposed to be themed to like a wooden coaster, like a circus-style funfair feel to it. It's quite a nice part of the park. I, I guess I'd say this is one of the older areas of Hansa Park. But yeah, I'll probably give it a couple of minutes, see if it opens. I think that's what everybody seems to be doing. It's just gone round again. And if not, we'll either get it later or tomorrow. We're taking off from the observation tower. Got a bit of audio. This will give you a bit of an idea of the view, what we got when we was on Highlander. Oh, this is nice audio. Obviously, this isn't quite as high as Highlander. But, oh, there is. Oh, there is two big water rides. There we are. There's a log flume, and then there's another water ride. Wow! So they've got three log flumes in this park. I know that's technically not in a log. I mean, that looks a bit different. Very strange. Electric parking down there. Ski data barriers. You got a few different flats around here as well. Yeah, so we're parked just over there, my beautiful hire car that I really like. I'll get that in the video for you tomorrow as well. I'll show you the hire car. That's the entrance. It shows how small it is, cars. It is absolutely tiny. I mean, I thought it was similar to Thorpe Park, but after seeing it again from up here, it's not, is it? It's even smaller than Thorpe Park. A look at the area, probably going to check out some of the local area tonight here we are i assume that's denmark that we can see right in the distance over there it's the accommodation it does look quite nice actually doesn't it that accommodation i assume you can walk down to the sea there as well the water looks very very blue very very nice yeah so we've got that water attraction down there crazy isn't it yeah it's a shame that filming is strictly prohibited on pretty much everything i mean yes we can film on this like the boat ride and things but when it comes to even log flumes and stuff uh they've got a very strict policy it seems all that entrance down there 
That's the restaurant, what we ate in earlier on. Dodgem's over there. Yeah, it really puts it into perspective, doesn't it? Carlin over there at the back. Nearly a fighter down here. It's very pretty. I do think that tower looks a lot nicer than that tower. Lovely. Log flume looks quite nice, actually. And there we go, that's the observation tower. It's open, and I don't know how to pronounce the name of it again. <laughs> oh, here we are, it's got a bit of a funky queue line, takes you back near the boat ride. I do like that waterfall there, that's nice. Very pretty, all these flowers, aren't they? Harry's up there, he's excited for this one. Coaster number six, baby, one more to go after this. Let's go, oh, we've got a POV going on there, look, on the front row. Oh, surprised I've not been told off, there is me, just wanting to get some Innocent shots in a queue line. And we've got a bit of a legal POV going on there. Just come off the little Preston and Barbary Junior coaster there. Only opened in 2017 that one. I thought it looked quite fresh around there with the theme in. Like I say, it just looks a bit like a wooden roller coaster that one, doesn't it? It looks like a GCI. And we've only got one more coaster to get on, and that's the Roland, whatever it's called, the Vicoma one anyway, over by Highlander and good old Nessie. I have to give Ness Nessie another ride. She was good earlier on. Um, yeah, we're gonna go and watch this show now. I was kind of expecting the venue to have a lot of people waiting out the front. Bear in mind, there's what, 15 minutes or something till the show? But look at this, it's very quiet, isn't it? I don't know, like, nobody's here. It's inside this arena. I mean, this is very nice with all the flags and stuff across. Not too sure on what sort of theme it's supposed to be. Is it Spanish arena, is it maybe? Very much Spanish, Mexican, looks that sort of style, doesn't it? But I think we might get a nice view, actually, from up here. I'm just gonna have a look on this, uh, this little fence. I bet you get a nice view over into the See, on you see the accommodation from here as well again. Do, 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 do. But no, it's a very pretty park. Still enjoying coming here for the first time and seeing it all. Ah, oh, yeah, here's the accommodation. There we are, like lodges. Oh, and there's the actual train line as well. Not the parks train, but the local train. Very interesting. Yeah, it looks like maybe South Catering, you can just park at those outside yeah, and that bridge takes you across to the accommodation i assume there's another entrance to the theme park over there uh, but anyway it's the variety show that we're watching with this one doubt we'll be able to film it i'm 99.9 .9 sure they won't allow it because you can't really film anything here but uh, yeah we'll see you when we uh, come out of the show talk a little bit about it Right then, so we just come out of the live show, the variety show here at Hansa Park, and it was a 40 minute production in the theatre you've just seen behind me. And uh, yeah, it was a good show. I mean, there was nothing in there what I've not seen before, um, but there was four really good solid acts in there um, that I very much enjoyed. The venue's really nice, very comfy seating. However, it was very warm in there, like the heating was on. Like, you know what I'm like, I get a bit, a bit nash, I get a bit cold. But in there, like even I was, God, I was falling asleep a bit. Not because of the show, just because of the temperature. Um, but one thing it did like, there was no like storyline to it and there was no talking, there was no dancing. It was just those big acts. I kind of felt like it would have been nice if you had like a, like a ringmaster sort of person just introducing the act. There was no talking throughout the whole thing. It was just then four acts that came on one after the other. Uh, you also had like a screen that came down in between like, uh, oh, like separated the uh, different acts off. 
But uh, yeah, it was very good. Like I said, I enjoyed it. It's not like the best theme park show I've seen. I'd say it's better than the ones that we saw at uh, Hyder Park. Uh, but I don't think it's up there with the likes of Europa Park, Fantasia Land, you know, a lot of them other big parks. Port Ventura that's probably got the best theme park shows in Europe, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, you know, I still enjoyed seeing it. Just refresh you those acts again. It's on the screen just here. Well, I say screen. There we are. Well, this guy is looking at the show, living the dream. <laughs> yeah, so these are the four different acts. Oh, what I did really like, and you saw a bit of footage, the band when we went in. Not really seen that before in terms of you know, when you go into the venue waiting for the main show, they had a little show going on, so I liked that. Yeah, we had the uh, four happy boys, they were all uh, like they were trampolining. Well, there wasn't four of them though, was there? Uh, no, there was, there was three happy three. boys. We only had three happy oh boys. no, we had three happy boys. These were good, these girls on this, uh, like this big globe that lifted up and spun round. Um, these three were like uh, standing on this and they put like little uh, sticks in and like balancing on them. And then we had this guy here who was flying about, but. Yeah, you know, it was a good show. Like, it wasn't a poor show. It was it's just, really good. Yeah, yeah, just not the best. Just together a bit more, mm. I think. Like, each, you know, individually, they're all really, really yeah. good. Yeah. As, as a product, I think it just needed to kind of push it together a bit more. I agree. Um, but we, we've seen a lot of these theme park shows, haven't we? I think, you know, if you've never seen something like that before, you come out and think, wow, you know, like, that was brilliant. But we go to a lot of different circuses and things as well, so we've seen a lot. But I really liked how it was all themed audio. Like, it was a full, complete audio package in there. There was no pop music or anything. Uh, but anyway, we've got about 20 minutes to go until the laser show that is also in there i mean you'd think that like you film the laser show really because it's not spoiling anything in terms of the performance but i doubt they will do because you can't film anything but True. anyway we're gonna get a drink and then we'll go back in and watch that and then there'll be just under an hour left of the day here at hands apart that was absolutely amazing world class 10 minute show but full of lasers fire smoke effects it was amazing honestly i absolutely love that that reaction is kind of what i was hoping i was going to have this morning when i first came off carden but it's from that laser show that was absolutely stunning that's my favorite thing in this park i loved it so much it was just i loved lighting and i've always been into programming lighting and special effects and things and that was just perfect we think there was only five actual lasers in that i mean they were the ones that uh, you know can go in numerous different angles and things it's not just like they were back in the olden days when it was just one laser where it just went straight forward i say the olden days when they first invented lasers that is uh, over the past few years they've really evolved very much developed and that was absolutely stunning it was in the same theater uh, that we were in for the big show uh, but yeah it was brilliant the blocks off half of the rows so everybody sat a bit further back and thought about that and it featured like remixes of all the park audio and the i'm a score they've done like a dubstep mix to it a dance mix really really good i love that to bits and then at the end we had all the fire effects in there as well all the way across the front that was awesome harry wasn't it it was your reaction just when you started that off was brilliant <laughs> you summed it up quite well though. honestly yeah like that was perfect it was straight to the point as well but it didn't give away all its secrets at the start did it like no, no it held back a bit didn't it yeah and there was a few sort of more calmer moments whoa more calmer <laughs> moments it was a bad time to say that without thing going above us but no, really really good show yeah really love that to bits like that's been my favorite part of this park and there's been some bits that i've really enjoyed here there's been a few bits that i've not so much enjoyed but We've got one more coaster that we need to get, and it's the Roland coaster, the Vacoma that's spited us twice. So hopefully we're going to get over there and get on it. I really hope so. Uh, and then we've ticked off the roller coasters uh, that we need to do in this park. But we've still got them two log flumes. There's the dinghy slide, there's the train. We've got a lot to see tomorrow and go and watch that laser show twice. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that was great. I will definitely go and see it at least once though again tomorrow for the sake of 10 minutes as well. It's not like it's really any time out of your day. Um, yeah, we'll go and get this in and then probably have another ride on Carnan. Oh, that was great. It's probably in a really good, positive mood, that. Really enjoyed that. 11 out of 10. Oh, no, it's still closed. The train's just parked up there in the station. That's a shame. Hopefully it'll be open tomorrow. Glad we've definitely got the two days now, so they've been a bit gutted. I know it's only a Vacoma family coaster, but when I do come somewhere, I do like to get all the coasters, especially when I've not done them before. It's a shame that. Oh, they are working on it though. There's someone in the op cabin lot and there's someone on the platform. So they are working on it. We'll have a go on, uh, on Nessie again. Yeah, we've got just over half an hour to go before we wrap up the day one vlog. Here from, Hi not Hyder Park, Hands Apart, Hands Apart. <laughs> Hyder Park, Hands Apart. Which one we at? Hey, dude. I forgot. <laughs> hey dude, theme park worldwide on YouTube. Love it. I know. 
Oh, he watches it. Hey, that's great. He says he knows. Yeah, we'll do Nassie, do Carnan here at Stephanie Knott's Hyder Park. Hands apart. He's laughing. He's loving it. He's laughing. Is that because I got the name of the park wrong? Maybe. I don't know. Probably. He seems like a very happy. Smiley. I can't believe Roland's let us down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they are working though on it, so I don't know. We might still get it today. Still half an hour to go. But old Nessie, she needs a good, another good ride, so let's go. Harry, could you get me some A and E, please? Get, some, yeah, can I get, get you some A and E? Get me some A and E. Yeah, like honestly, I need. I can get you some A and E. I need an ambulance, mate. <laughs> like, uh, we've just come off. Well, we did a girls' last session, so we went on the Eurofighter, uh, and then we went on Carnan. And I tell you what, it does get quite rough towards the end of the day. I mean, I was on an inner seat, I was on an outer, and I tell you what, oh my god, like my head is banging. I'm not even like making this up. Genuinely, I found that really rough, but. There we go, we've uh, come to the end of our day. We managed to get those in again, which is good. So it means we've had four rides on Carnan, a couple on the other Eurofighter. I'm not even gonna pronounce the name. Uh, highlights from today, I'm not gonna go too much into it. We'll save that for tomorrow, uh, where we'll share our full thoughts. You've probably got a bit of an inkling. We've said throughout the day that there's been a few bits that we've really liked, a few bits that we've not been so keen on. So we'll, we'll cover that more tomorrow. And also uh, tomorrow we'll try the other version of Highlander with the extreme tilting, whatever that involves. We'll go on the train, there's two more logs, flumes to do um, yeah there's quite a bit there's a dinghy slides there's a lot still to see tomorrow and uh, yeah some more shows the parade and things as well um, but yeah highlights from today I'd say the most fun coaster for me in this park uh, is Nessie to be honest like I know some of you are probably laughing but Nessie I ran really re-rideable really the best coaster here in terms of the experience of course Carnan the Eurofighter is great there's been a few staffing like, issues, it seems, on some of the rides. The guy, we saw the guy who was a bit miserable earlier on, again on the Eurofighter, and he was quite like happy and stuff this time. So I don't know, like maybe he's just one of them people where in the morning it took a while for him to get going. I'm not too <laughs> sure. But anyway, that's all for day number one. It's a shame we haven't been able to film on the rides here. Um, but there's some lovely parts of this park in terms of how visually it looks. I think it looks lovely, like this entrance area is really nice. There's a lot of flowers and everything, uh, very well presented. And at the end there, you've got the band, which is really nice. They're there in the morning, they were there in the show venue, and they're here when you come out. So it leaves like a really nice, oh, we're going out of the park uh, with the band. But yeah, like, you know, that's the end of day one. We are coming back tomorrow. You know, it, you could just do one day here, I think. You don't need two days, but because we want to get loads of re-rides in. Uh, I tell you now though, it's certainly not a park that I'd come rushing back to, like, like year after year it'll be the next time I come through these gates will be when there's another major ride in this park um, but yeah Harry like you got any thoughts just to add on to that from today um, yeah I mean you pretty much covered it haven't you yeah, it's, it's just very it's like inconsistent as a park mm, I think like yeah, some areas are really so. strong and others just don't really pull it it's not a whole package as a park it's not it's it feels thing. more like an amusement park yes in places it wouldn't surprise me if maybe it used to be like a free to enter thing i'm not especially with the sea being closed like maybe i'm just comparing it to blackpool or something <laughs> but i don't know like it feels to me like it could be a bit of an amusement park style but very hit and miss isn't yeah. it depending on the staff depending on the ride mm. yeah i mean we've seen some good stuff as well so it's been a yeah, hit and miss as harry said you got a favorite ride from today um i wouldn't say ride i'd say the laser show was a highlight yeah the laser show was absolutely fantastic that is my favorite thing in the park Carnan is absolutely insane it was a bit rough just it's nowhere near it's not even like a top 30 40 for me it's right like it's nowhere there I, I tell you that now I know that's going to upset some people but that is my thoughts on it I know a lot of people say it's either top or right up there in Europe for me it's not it's it's down there it's a, a great insane coach the lift hill's brilliant but 
I just don't enjoy Gerstar rides that much. I, you know, it just bashed me about a bit. It was all right earlier on, but at the end there, I felt like I was back on the Smiler again, you know, and I just don't enjoy that. But there you go, that's all for day one. We'll share more tomorrow from the day two vlog here at Hansa Park in Germany. We'll uh, go and check into our hotel. Oh, and I sleep, I need it. I'm really tired after that today. It's been intense. We've been on some intense beasts today in this park. But uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. And from me and Harry, that means it's time to cue those credits. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.